Peter was having a hard time deciding on which new vehicle he should buy. He decided to make the final decision based on the gas efficiency of each car. A car that is more gas efficient gets more miles per gallon of gas. When he asked the manager at each car dealership for the gas mileage data, he received two different representations, which are shown below. All right, the key phrase in here that we need to look at is a car that is more gas efficient gets more miles per gallon of gas. Miles per gallon. That's the part that we're focusing on. If you had to look at a ratio and write it down, it'd definitely be miles in gallon. All right, let's look at the two vehicles he's talking about. First off, we're looking at the Ford. The Ford basically is telling you that for five gallons of gas, you get 60 miles. For 10 gallons of gas, you get 120. For 15 gallons of gas, you get 180. All right? Now, Honda, it's telling you the formula of how much gas it gets. Basically, miles equals 10 G. And G represents gallons of gas, and M represents miles. What I would suggest to do is that being that we're so used to looking at the table and looking at hard numbers as far as looking at the numbers that we see, is plug in these gallons of gas to this formula that's given us. So, for example, if we have 5 gallons of gas, how many miles would that be? So this is how we would look at it. You get the 10 m equals 10 parentheses 5 because remember the 5 is represented by the g g equals 5 first 10 times 5 is 50 all right let's try this again with t miles equals 10 from this 10 gas gallons of gas from this 10 now what does that equal 100. 10 times 10 is 100. All right, let's look at this now. 15. So I'm going to put the 10 from the original formula that they gave us and the G, which is now this time 15. So 10 times 15 is 150. And we could tell, first off, 5 gallons of gas for 50 miles. 10 gallons of gas for 100 miles, and 15 gallons of gas for 150. You're basically trying to look for the smallest number here and the biggest number here. Being that these are all the same on the top of the Ford of gallons of gas, Honda's gallons of gas, look for the biggest numbers here. Which one ends up being the bigger number? So we know, even before we read any problem, that the best deal so far is Ford. All right, so let's continue looking down. Now that we have two tables to compare, if Peter based his decision on gas efficiency, which car should he buy? Provide support for your answer. If Peter based his decision only on gas efficiency. So, looking at these two, we've already settled in our mind that the Ford is probably the best one to go with. So we could answer it this way. Peter should buy the Ford if he wants gas efficiency because he would get, and we can use any of these numbers, I'm going to use the biggest ones that they have and compare the two. 15 gallons of gas. Actually, let me rephrase that. He would get 180 miles for 15 gallons of gas. Rather than 150 miles for 15 gallons of gas from Honda. This is how your answer should look like completely. A complete sentence with complete 
and specific answers from the questions. We're talking about two different cars, Ford and Honda. Ford, Honda, 18 miles for 50, 180 miles for 15 gallons, 150 miles for 15 gallons for the Honda. All right, let's continue on looking at this last part. After comparing the Honda, the Ford and the Honda, Peter saw an advertisement for a third vehicle, the Toyota. The manager said that the Toyota can travel about 238 miles on a tank of gas. If the gas tank can hold 17 gallons of gas, is the Toyota Peter's best option? Why or why not? All right. Well, I'm not going to draw another table right here, but what I will find is how much per one gallon of gas this 238 miles goes, and then draw a table that's equivalent to these two. So let's go ahead and figure that out. The total amount of gas that this can travel, it tells us in the second sentence. The manager said that the Toyota can travel about 238 miles on a tank of gas. So let's go ahead and write that down, 238. If the, da if the gas tank can hold 17 gallons of gas, so we know that it holds 17 gallons. So now we have to figure out how many times 17 goes in a 238. Well, we know 17 goes in a 23 at least one time, because if you try to double this, you're looking at a number that's bigger than 30. So 17 times one is 17, let's subtract that. Three minus seven, can't do that, we have to borrow. Carry the one over. 13 minus seven is four, one minus one is zero. Don't worry about that. Let's bring the 48 down. Looks like we might have decimals now. So let's just prepare ourselves for that. All right, 17 goes into 48. Let's try on the side. 17 times three. Let's see what we get. Seven times three is one. 21 actually, carry the two over. Three times one is three, plus two is 51. 51 is bigger than 78, so I know it has to be two. 17 times two, seven times two is 14. Carry the one over, two times one is two, plus one is three. It's the closest number we can get, so let's go ahead and put two right here. Minus 34, eight minus four is four, four minus three is one. Looks like we still need to keep going to add to the decimals. Remember, we're talking about, um, oh, we're not talking about money. Well, gas is not that cheap, though. All right. Let's bring the zero down and line up our decimals. How many times does 17 go into 140? Now, here's a trick, just a side note. 17. If I had to round it up, it'd be to 20. So if I'm thinking by 20s and 140, I know that seven that 20 times 7 equals 140 exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and try to multiply this by 7 and see what happens. 7 times 7 is 9. Carry the I'm sorry, 7 times 7 is 49. Carry the 4 over. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4. 119. Let me try this. 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56. Put the 6 here. Carry the 5 over. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 5 is 136. Yep, that seems about right. The closest we'll probably get. So let's go ahead and subtract 136. 140 minus 136 is 4. Bring down the zero. We know that two times 17 is 34, so I don't have to redo the math for that. So 40 minus 34 equals six. But we already have enough information to figure this out. So we know that one gallon equals 2.82 miles for the Toyota. So that means that five gallons equals what? Well, in order to figure that out, let's multiply this times five times. 12.82 
times 5. All right, 5 times 2 is 10. Put the 0 there, carry the 1 over. 5 times 8 is 40 plus 1. Carry the 4 over here. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Let's count how many spaces of decimals. Move 1, 2, 1, 2. So 5 gallons would get you 64 miles, 64.10 miles. We could compare this ratio, and if we want, we can even add it up here. 5 to 64.10 is the Toyota. 5 to 60 is the Ford. And 5 to 50 is the Honda. These are all basically the gallons of gas. And this is all the miles. So what you're looking for is you know all the gallons are five. Which one gives you the most miles? Which is, which is going to allow you to travel the furthest? Looks like it's going to be the Toyota. So, I ran out of space here. So I'm going to write my answer right here. Peter's best choice is the Toyota because it has a five gallon to 64.10 mile ratio. There. Can't beat that. Toyota. That's still a Japanese car compared to Honda and Ford. All right. There you go.